Welcome to Faith and Freedom. For the next few minutes, we hope to inform, inspire, and encourage you as we discuss the legal victories and challenges to your fundamental freedoms and religious liberties. Faith and Freedom comes to you from Liberty Council, a civil liberties education and legal defense organization. Join us now as Matt Staver, the President and General Counsel of Liberty Council, explains the latest legal issues all across this country in the courtrooms of America. Liberty Council is winning the battle for your constitutional freedoms. Voters are much less optimistic about black and white relations. Hi, I'm Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council and dean of Liberty University School of Law. Joining me is Matt Barber, director of cultural affairs for Liberty Council and associate dean for the law school. Well, while voters are less optimistic about it, we're going to be doing something and are doing something about these relations through the Freedom Federation because that federation is a federation of leaders and organizations that comprises the largest uh, multiracial, ethnic, and generational organizations and leaders in the country, really designed to bring people of different races, ethnicities, and generations together around core values. You know, when President Obama was elected, it was certainly a major event in American history that we had our first uh, black president of the United States of America. Instead of, however, helping the race relations, in my view, Obama has hurt the race relations. He's gotten involved in situations, if you remember the situation of the arrest or the, um, the yeah, the arrest of the professor Harvard up in professor. Harvard. Mm -hmm. um, and he got involved in there, said some stupid things he shouldn't have said. He took the side uh, of the Harvard professor, not knowing the facts, simply because the Harvard professor was black and assumed that it was a race issue not even knowing the background of the police officer who was very sensitive not to be involved in race issues and was somebody who trained people on how not to racially profile individuals. That doesn't help race relations when <laughs> you call something racist just because of the color of one's skin. We still do have racism and we still do have people that have prejudices, but it doesn't help when you simply cry wolf every single time and it's really not a real wolf. Obama has not advanced race relations. He has hurt race relations. And my concern is that God created all of us, uh, different colors, different ethnicities, different generations, obviously he created us male and female. And while we have distinctions, we have unity, especially in the body of Christ, and we have unity in our core values. And that's what the Freedom Federation is designed to do, is to bring those people together. It's so exciting, and, and we're doing that. Uh, several, uh, th over 30-plus groups representing tens of millions of people from all different races, uh, ethnicities, uh, and age demographics, and so forth, uh, coming together. Uh, with a shared vision of, of restoring honor and dignity in our nation and restoring us to our founding principles. But, you know, Matt, it was uh, it was kind of it was a bittersweet time, really, uh, when President Obama got elected, mostly bitter. <laughs> but it was sweet in the sense that that you were able to sit back, even though we disagree with him wholeheartedly on probably every single political position that he takes. Uh, to see that our country had arrived at a point where um, Americans could look past an, an individual's color and, and elect an African-American to the highest office in the world said a lot about where we have uh, have come as, as an American people. Now, unfortunately, and conventional wisdom is that the blame is placed squarely on the shoulders of that very man. Let me just give you an example from the Rasmussen poll. Uh, back in July of last year, uh, sixty two percent of Americans felt confident that that race religion uh, relations were were harmonious. Uh, now it is down to thirty six percent. It has plummeted because of many of these of these types of gaffes, these race uh, baiting gaffes that that you're talking about that President Obama unfortunately has has really uh, taken the helm on. Well, you know, the unfortunate thing about what has happened is, we have a president who has actually been very prejudicial himself. And if you look at um, Reverend uh, Wright, mm. you know, he looks at things from a very uh, racist perspective. We knew that. You don't uh, simply distance yourself from somebody like that and still be a member of his church for two decades, mm -hmm. have your children baptized uh, by this man, 
and support this man and invite this man to be part of your political process. And call if him you, your mentor. Yeah, if you don't agree with him. And so it's pretty obvious that Wright was so radical in his views on race and Obama was right behind him. And, and so he has exacerbated the race issue rather than help the race issue. Now, what we're doing at the Freedom Federation, uh, we uh, began this back in 2008 and really launched it in 2009. We also have a website. It's called freedomfederation.org. You can go directly to that website at freedomfederation.org, or you can go to the Liberty Council website, lc.org. And in the left-hand column, uh, there is a blue icon, a blue square section about the Freedom Federation Network. You can click on that, and it'll go right to the Freedom Federation social networking, but you're still within the Liberty Council parameter. That uh, website is a manifestation of the greater Freedom Federation. The Freedom Federation is designed for a specific purpose, and that is to bring people of multiracial, multiethnic, and multigenerational perspectives together, but are united around the core values that we all share. Those core values are reflected in what we call the Declaration of American Values. It's a 10-point declaration of American values. Starts off with life and marriage, parental rights, religious liberty, and it goes right down through all the way to the role of government. All of those Declaration of American Values are part of the Freedom Federation. So people that come together, whether you're black, white, brown, yellow, red, uh, man, woman, young or old, uh, whatever ethnicity you are, Hispanic, Asian, come around uh, together. And, and it's a, a beautiful uh, networking of people of different uh, races and nationalities, but united on core values. We're not compromising yeah. on the core values, but we're bringing them together. And we're intentional about it. You know, a lot of times conservatives want to reach out to people of different races and ethnicities, but don't do it intentionally. And so we're wanting to do it intentionally, reach out and uh, empower people, bring them to the discussion. That's what the Freedom Federation is about. To learn more about it, you can go to the freedomfederation.org website or go to lc.org and click on that blue icon and become part of the social networking, uh, blogging, and events website. We'll talk about that in just a few moments. Yeah, uh, it, it's encouraging to me. You know, Matt, we know that our nation, by recent polls show, by a, about a two-to-one margin, is a center-right, is a conservative nation over, from an ideological standpoint, over, over uh, liberal ideology. And that crosses racial lines. Uh, we know that the vast majority of African Americans, for instance, look what happened in California. 70% of, of African American voters voted in favor of Prop 8 in restoring the natural definition of, of marriage to the state of California. Uh, we know that uh, the vast majority of African Americans are, are anti, uh, 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 are, are pro-life. We know the same applies to Hispanics and yeah. so forth. So there is really a, a synergy there that, that can be tapped, I think, and, and bring us back to a point where we can have racial harmony in this, this country. And then people like, you know, uh, uh, Jesse Jackson and, and the Reverend Al Sharpton, and unfortunately, even President Obama, who shares many of those same, frankly, racist views, uh, I think can be kind of pushed to the margins yeah, in terms and, of fostering their And I th think one division. of the things that the Federation can do is help empower uh, other people who are not the Jesse Jacksons yeah. or Al Sharptons because the a lot of uh, black leaders uh, don't look to Al Sharpton or Jesse Jackson as their voice. <laughs> And yet the media wants to put them on as though they're speaking for the entire yeah. um, black community. And the same thing with Hispanics as well. Uh, there are people out there who are leaders. Uh, they're national leaders. They're local and regional leaders. They're pastors. They're political activists. Uh, they have these core values that we all share in common. And uh, they're part of uh, what we want to be as the Freedom Federation. You can go to the Freedom Federation's website, freedomfederation.org, for more information. You can also go to Liberty Council's website, lc.org, and you can click on it. The great thing about the actual networking, in addition to the idea of bringing races and ethnicities and generations together, which is very unique, there's no other uh, organization or entity like this in the United States, we've got a website presence that allows you to uh, 
change your status just like on Facebook. And when you do that, you can link it to Facebook and it goes directly to Facebook. So I can change my status. I can put a blog on the Freedom Federation Network and that blog or that status goes directly over to Facebook. I can do Facebook as well and it comes directly to the Freedom Federation. I can send out a tweet on Twitter and it'll come right to the Freedom Federation Network. I can find out about events in my locale, in the United States, in my state, in my geographical zip code, I can create events. It will bring the mobilization component to a very advanced technological state. So go to lc.org, click on the Freedom Federation icon, join the network today. That's freedomfederation.org or lc.org. Visit that website today. You have been listening to Matt Staver of Liberty Council. Our hope is to encourage and inspire you to stand up for your faith, family, and freedoms. We can accomplish a lot when we work together. Get informed and get involved today. Sign up for our free monthly newsletter, The Liberator. We will send it out to you free of charge. Stay informed with our Liberty Alert email update. Just click on the website at www.lc.org or call us at 1-800-671-1776. Tune in next time to learn more about your rights right here on Faith and Freedom.